on the phone with Team Mobile the other day. And I was talking to them and trying to figure out, because I'm, I'm about to cut my phone bill off with y'all. It's too much. It's looking like a light bill. Why is my phone bill 100 and, I, I don't need to talk to nobody for 100 and something dollars a month. If it can't be under 100 dollars, I just don't need to be on the phone right now. Shoot, I need to rest anyway so my baby, you know. So... <laughs> Today is Monday, we are running errands, and I got on this dress from Sheen, not Sheen, um, Shop Cider, Gucci Lovers, and my tote from Timo. So that's my OOTD. So, I am waiting on my mother. I went to go do my little, I went to go do my little, ooh. I went to go do my little one-to-one. And so now I'm waiting on my mom because she's going out of town. I just seen this girl with some pretty boho knotless flats. And I'm like, ooh, I think I want it. When I say pretty, pretty. So, I don't know, but let's see. But yeah, so I need to go buy it. So once I get her, I need to go buy Publix to go grocery shopping and get some chicken for dinner tonight. Because I got some leftover rice and beans and I'm not cooking tonight. So I want to eat that, and I know me, me and my little friend be getting hungry. So, yeah, and then I'm going to buy my P.O. box. I need to go buy CVS and get me some vitamins, and then I need to get a video uploaded for y'all. And then I need to call Apple about my computer. My computer is ready for pickup, but I'm not going to make it to Apple today. And I just want to let them know, like, hey, I'll be there, but don't play with me. I'm going to come for my computer. Somebody called me. So, yeah, that's that. But, yeah, so that's pretty much it. City Trends. My mama had got my baby some joggers from City Trends. They going, hold on, y'all. Yeah, my mama got my baby some stuff from City Trends. They going out of business or whatever. But just, like, plain, cute little joggers. So I wanted to go back there. But she was in the rush, so she just grabbed what she saw, the last little bit of stuff on the rack. So I just want to go back there and see if I could get him some onesies. Um... Cause she got like different color bottoms so i'm just thinking to get him a pack of white onesies and then a pack of white socks and that'll complete that because i just want to have everything like matchy matchy let me see okay yeah so that's what i'm doing i'm not too much stressing myself about what my baby gonna wear once the baby gets here because it's like the baby can't walk they can't talk they can't maybe i'm gonna have the baby on some onesies and some socks okay so, I already tell, I keep telling everybody, do not buy my baby no shoes. Like, don't get me wrong, I may buy, like, a few pair of shoes just because, like, but I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm going to be honest, like, with this baby, initially, when I first got pregnant, I was like, I did, I, I, my head was about to explode. I was trying to do so much and carry on so much, but I'm going to say this, I'm in my, these people, I'm on that when it comes down to babies and stuff. Like, even though that's my baby shower, if, so, if the people don't know me and me and me and his dad's relationship or they don't know the history or they don't know us they don't know him they don't even know his name like family who don't even know him why am i inviting you like what are you coming for and so it's just like certain things i'm just like mm, no this person don't need to come like i barely talk to them i barely deal with them so it's like no so i'm i'm making my list very slim um and then what else what else what else what else yeah and then even as far as like things that i need to get for the baby i'm just like what are you doing keep the main things the main things baby need a stroller need a costy uh need a bassinet need a like that's it you know what i'm saying like the basic stuff and then everything else you get the baby need pampers and wipes the baby gonna need pampers and wipes for a long time so i'm like you know so it's like stuff like that where i'm like okay let me focus on what i need what i what me and the baby is gonna actually need and then everything else is gonna come after that and that's how i now that's why i'm now oh there we go i was in the camera box my bad and that's why now i'm like i feel so more much more at ease now um because like i'm focusing on the main things i'm not doing all this carrying on all this all that you know what i'm saying so yeah so that's that but everything has been good so far so good i'm just really happy and like excited about this journey and you know being a mom and raising my baby and just you know i'm excited i can't wait to see how we bond he be kicking child he been kicking a lot lately so i'm just like i'm so excited like to see like 
how he gonna be whose characteristics he got do he is he gonna be like me is he gonna be like his daddy you know i'm just like uh and then i just you know i want him to be speaking his language and so i know his daddy gonna teach him that or whatever so he can understand and stuff like that i told him don't be teaching my baby bad stuff don't let my baby be trying to talk about me y'all talk about me. but i know so i i kind of understand a lot better now but yeah so that's that so i'm gonna talk to y'all once we i'm just rambling but i'm gonna talk to y'all once i get to my next space uh, so i just left the post office trying to get my packages y'all and they're like they can't find the packages this that and the third and i'm just like <sighs> every time it's hair i notice the only packages that get missing is hair and clothes anytime it's one of them boxes for that hair anytime it's closed you know you can feel the package it always turn up missing and it's just like that's so weird and I'm just like, you know what? I'm not going to accuse nobody because I want to say y'all be stealing. But I'm not going to accuse nobody. You know, I'm going to remain calm. But I'm just like, bro. Like, make it make sense. So now I'm tired from waiting because the whole point of me getting a P.O. box is so that. The whole point of me getting a P.O. box. I don't even want to stop and get these prenatals. I'm so tired. I may just run in Target right quick. The whole point of me getting the prenatals is so that the whole point of me getting a P.O. box is so that I don't have to stand in the line. The point is me going to my box, getting my package and going home. But it seems like my package is never there. Like I always got to keep, you know, going to the front, getting a slip. Going, hey, hey, hey. You know, so it's like, oh, I'm over it. I think I may have to, I think it may be time for me to make that investment and give me a P.O. box thing. Now I'm about to get some. Oh, oh yeah, it's time for me to go home, bro. It's traffic. Go, go, go. Yeah, so that's that. Now I'm tired. But I want to go into Target right quick to get some hangers for the baby clothes that I got so far. And I need some prenatal vitamins. And then the gas station right there. And then that's it. I'm going home. I'm tired. That is it for me. I ain't got no more left in me, baby. That's it. I'm tired. And I'm rolling, rolling, tired. But yeah. Oh, no, so let's go to Target. Well, I know they be saying, like, don't drink soda. Don't do this. Don't do that. Why are you pregnant? But I'm going to say this, y'all. One thing about me, I'm going to eat me some hot chips. Did my chips waste in my bag? Mm, I hope not. And I'm going to drink me a Mountain Dew ginger ale or a Sprite. It just hits. And my baby like it. My baby loves it. Okay. But anyways, I got gas. And now I'm going home. I can just cancel. One thing One thing about me, what I'm learning to make my life easier, if I need to cancel plans, oh, that new range is pretty. But that junk. Oh, them potholes. Oh, my God. Like, when baby had that range over, he used to complain so much. I'm like, ugh. I don't even want to hear no more. So, but they're pretty cars. But right now, I was just having a conversation with my mom, like, as it pertains to, like, cars and stuff. And, like, you know, getting a new car and upgrading and everything. And, like, I'm all for that. Like, I'm all for the whole upgrade. This, that. I need to go back out that way. I'm all for the, like, whole upgrade situation and everything. But I'm also in a place in my life where, like, I'm saying to myself, you know what? the real upgrade is getting a house that's the real upgrade like that's the real upgrade that i'm looking forward to like i got a baby on the way i ain't trying to no shade to nobody who apartment hopping and all this and that but you know like i come from that moving around you know what i'm saying my mom was a single parent so you know we moved around quite often you know we had a little assistance here and there no shade today we appreciate all that but it's like you know i want to break those generational curses and i feel like to have like i feel like in, in my life right now like i've i've had it all i've had a lot i've had a lot and still do got a lot and i'm extremely blessed and um I'm, but i'm in a place where i'm willing to make a sacrifice a temporary sacrifice and if that means to not have the latest vehicle being that okay i have to put myself in a position where like things are in order for to purchase the house like because you know you can't keep 
adding all those it goes by like your rotating credit and your debt to income ratio and things of that sort so it's like I could go and get a new car but then that's gonna add on to my credit profile you get what I'm saying like so just things like that that I'm thinking of I'm like man listen <sighs> No car note sound better than brand new right about now to me. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I also just want to, like, you know, with having a new baby, like, I don't want to be, like, acquiring, like, even though, like, hold on. Even though, like, babe does a lot and, you know, he look out for us, like, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But I also want to be in a place for my like for myself as a woman to just have certain things in order and i just feel like and me personally like that's a great gift to me a house is a great gift like i could do the cars the bags all that stuff like that's fine yeah i, I get that but it's like i'm ready for a house i'm ready for a house it, and it don't even gotta be no huge house i do want a big house eventually but starting off that's another thing i don't want all that house with one baby i don't need no big six seven eight nine bedroom house i could do a little three four you get what i'm saying little three four something you know not too crazy my little youtube room little content room baby room little guest room you know not too crazy little townhouse tees so you know it's stuff like that so that's what like my mom says that i was just having a conversation with my mom and i'm just like you know especially in our community you know we like to look like this and look like that whole oh, wow it ain't really giving that it's giving you get what i'm saying and you know i just i don't got time for that i just want to change the trajectory of my life completely so hey y'all good morning so me and baby boy are up and we are getting ready to run our errands. We got some important errands to run today. Um, so I just went ahead and gelled my hair down. This mirror is dirty. Um, and I just got on this little white dress. This is the bump of the day. I got on this white dress, my Gucci loafers, Kate Spade purse, because I got a lot of stuff in that bag. And then I just have on my little normal accessories, earrings, necklace, ring, and watch. And we are getting ready to head out for the day it's really early it's like 8 a.m that's my little outfit it's giving mom it's giving i'm happy it's giving comfortable and cute so i'll see y'all in the car hey y'all so i forgot to give y'all the scent of the day i had it in my purse and i don't know that's why my purse was so heavy i don't carry perfumes in my purse only the tiny ones but this is my scent of the day the flower balm ruby orchid so that is my scent of the day and we're starting it off at Dunkin'. so let's see i think i'm gonna just get what i normally get on it hi good morning can i have uh should I sweet black maple bacon can I have the maple sugar bacon croissant? How many? Just one. And what else? And then can I have a small French vanilla iced coffee? Mm hmm With Even sugar? Three sugars, one cream. Small iced coffee, three sugars, one cream, French vanilla. Yes. Mm hmm And then one glazed donut. Only one glazed donut. Yes. That'll be all. Thank you, Java. Thank you. So, I just wanted to keep it simple because I don't want no smoke this morning. I got places to go, people to see. So, I'm going to just drink a little bit of that coffee. That should get me going. And we're going for clear skin. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Y'all see, it's giving clear skin. And then, if I get out of this place where, well, at the time I'm supposed to be, I am going to Publix. We're going to get some fruits, vegetables, some little stuff for me and baby boy. I love my baby. I'm so excited. Oh, God. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get some food from Publix. Um, I'm not in the mood to cook, so I think I'm a Publix chicken should be fresh right about now. Um, they should like literally be dropping fresh chicken. Um, so I am going to probably get that for dinner and probably get a can of green beans to add with that. And that's about it. I'm not, um, mm, I haven't been in the mood to cook and stand over the stove. Like, and like, usually when I do cook, like my mom be helping me, like she would get, she would cook the rice and the vegetables and maybe I cook the meat and vice versa. Like we help each other out. But since I'm Olo right now. I just got to do everything by myself right now. So, yeah, I'm thinking I'm just going to do chicken. Chicken and 
That's it. And I may do chicken and fries. I may go get a pack of fries from the store and put it in the um, oven and then just do chicken and fries tonight. I don't know. But yeah, I hope y'all having a great day. I woke up this morning. As soon as I woke up, I rolled over. First, I was scrolling. I ain't gonna lie. I scrolled on Facebook and uh, Instagram for a little minute. But then I put my phone down. I prayed. I put on my worship music. Um, I just started saying my affirmations over myself. Like, I'm blessed. I'm loved. I'm thankful. I'm grateful. Good things happen to me. Good things come to me. Um, there's nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken in my life. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm the lender and not the bar. I'm above and not beneath. Like, I just went to say my affirmations, prayed over myself, prayed over hubby, prayed over baby, prayed over my mama, them, like everybody. I just was praying this morning and I just feel good. Like, even though, like, in this space, I'm not gonna even say that because your words have power. I have everything that I need. So, I'm not going to even say that. But, yeah. So, I'm just excited. I'm looking forward to all the amazing things that's going to go on in my life. But, I'm going to get off the camera because I just realized I didn't charge y'all last night. So, I only got two bars left. So, y'all. For me, I like to eat my sweets first. Y'all saw what I ordered. But, I like to eat my sweets first. So, I'm going to eat my donut first. And then, I'm going to eat my sandwich. The coffee was good. Everybody was good. The lady, she was like, um... I had put the camera down by then because I don't be liking to record people at work. Somebody, some people don't want nobody to know where they work, whatever. So I, I don't like to do that. But she was like, you always look so pretty. I was like, thank you. You too. I'm like, and I like y'all this morning crew or whatever because I typically go this route or whatever and i'm able to stop by this particular donkey or whatever and i was just like saying like how they always so nice and this that and the third the evening crew they be acting a little funky sometimes like you know what i'm saying so yeah but that's what i am doing so let's head on this road okay look at this little gem i just found at bd's discount it's dr brown's bottles i don't know who bottles these is i never hear it is but they got some wipes to go. I don't know. Oh, these are wipes too, right here. And they got a bunch of little baby stuff. Now, you know, you could be cheap about a lot of things, but right now, I don't know if that's something I want to be cheap about. Dr. Brown's bottles is good, but I don't know. But they got all these little cute little thingies. So cute. Anybody having a girl? So, yeah. But I really came for just to see if I could find some onesies for him. But I don't know. I didn't find them. But I did find this cute little outfit. I thought this was cute for him. Just an all gray little set. And it's five dollars, so why not? Cause everybody started buying him stuff except for me. So I feel bad. And I'm like, I wanna buy my baby something. So I figured to just, you know. I haven't started really, really shopping. Oh, this the boy look. This the little boy stuff over here. Okay, there we go. But this is zero to three months. Oh, this is cute. I don't know. Cause babe already started buying stuff. Mommy's little peanut. Oh, this is so cute. Look at there. Mommy's little peanut. Five ninety nine. I don't know. I could, I could see me now spending all my money on this baby. Oh, look at dear. So cute. So, I don't know. Let's see. I'm not really going to be born in the winter. So, he going to need, like, winter clothes. Have Nike stuff. My brother just bought him a Nike outfit. Just do it. See, look, they even got, like, Nike stuff. In here for kids, just do it. And this is what twelve ninety nine. It's a three piece set. Okay, so that's what I really came for. I just came to really look for some onesies for him. So let's see. They got they got some cute little stuff. And this little Puma set, twelve months. They got they got name brand stuff. Puma. Now, some stuff I'm not gonna buy my baby. Like, we're not gonna be cheap. Like, no. But I did wanna see what they had in here for him. Yep. This is cute, it says legend. Yeah, I just wanted to buy my baby one thing. What is it, zero to three months? That's too tiny. I know anything coming out of me ain't gonna be tiny tunes like that, so. Yeah. 
All right. I done got what I got, so let me get out of these the store and head to go really run my errands. All these people be looking at me. I love DD's discount. All right, y'all. Well, I'm about to go ring up and let's see. I got two little outfits and I just got something that I really didn't need for me. But let's see. Um, I had a hard decision to make today. And that decision is, so my Apple Music, it was $5.99 a month, right? Okay, cool. And then, you know, Apple keep taking this money out your account. I really don't know what it is that they be taking out. But it be like extra money. I don't know. I just be like, whatever. It's Apple. Whatever. Right? But the issue that I'm having now is that they want to go up on my Apple Music to $10.99 a month. And I know that sounds like a little bit of money. But I just, I can't, I'm not... I'm not in tune with that. But now sitting in the car all today and can't really listen to my music how I want to. YouTube keep putting on commercials and all this stuff. And then I'm like, do I really want to go back to Pandora? I haven't listened to Pandora or SoundCloud. My man still listens to SoundCloud. But that's just not me. <laughs> I'm just I'm about a lot of things. I've, I've just changed a certain way. And I'm just like. But then I'm also like. As a mother now. I'm like all these subscriptions. Every time stars. Even stars. I, I, unless BMF back on. I, I cut it off. Netflix I cut it off. I don't know who Netflix on my TV now. So all these extra subscriptions. And I remember like my mama friend. When we was little. She used to be like. Y'all oh, got all this stuff. She's like. Mm -mm, I don't do that. And now that I'm grown. And like now that I got real responsibilities. I'm like. Uh -uh. Even my phone bill. I was on the phone with T-Mobile the other day. And I was talking to them. And trying to figure out. Because I'm, I'm about to cut my phone bill off with y'all. It's too much. It's just looking like a light bill. Why is my phone bill 100 and, I, I don't need to talk to nobody for 100 and something dollars a month. If it can't be under $100, I just don't need to be on the phone right now. Shoot, I need to rest anyway so my baby, you know. So, <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, everything done went up. So, hell yeah, I'm trying to get everything low. And I got my baby coming. I want to be I want to be spoiling my baby, buying my baby stuff, and doing stuff for my baby, taking my baby out. I don't want to be no stressed mama, all bills. And it's crazy because these are my bills. Like, this ain't even stuff, you know, that my man take care of. This is my phone bill. He ain't got nothing to do with my $200 phone bill. That's crazy. And even he say that, and he the one with all the money, and he be like... I, I, I don't spend all of that on my phone bill. <laughs> He's very frugal. That's why he able to keep money. Well, listen, one thing about that Nigerian, he don't play about his dollars. Like, he's very, he, and I'm learning that from him. He's always been like that, but, and I never, like, took heed to it until now. But when I tell you he don't play, like, about his money, he know where his money go at every time. Like, this man got his bills written out properly, like, he knows every dollar that come out his bank account. He got like he got a budget now for me and the baby. He knows everything that's coming out. Like he don't play when it comes down to that. So it's like I'm trying to get like that. Like because that's how the rich stay rich and the post stay poor. Like even when I be coming over him, like when I go to this certain uh CVS, right? All these rich white ladies jumping out of like Rolls Royces and all type of stuff where this deals with their husband, whoever, right? And them ladies, they be in here using coupons. They be in here couponing everything. Everything, your necessities like tissue paper, soaps, all that stuff. They be in here couponing. Now, they ain't have to park like that. But that's all right. I'm going to park like I ain't got no sense either. But yeah, they be in here couponing. And I'm like, that's how the rich stay rich in the post. They poke. See, we don't want to look poor. I ain't poor. But I'm just saying, we don't want to look a certain way to people. So we want to act like, oh, I don't want to use a coupon. Oh, I don't want to use. No. Mm -mm. So right now, I'm like, no. Like, even I was saying, I was just um telling my mom, I got a BJ's account. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep my BJ's membership or do I want to go to Sam's Club. So my auntie got a Sam's Club membership and I'm just trying to see as far as like um as far as like baby wipes and baby pampers if 
which is going to be more beneficial to me like as far as like the baby is concerned like because granny you go to places like cvs you get discounts you get coupons but it's like okay you know what i'm saying also you know you want to just be able to go get your stuff and stock up and um even like with babe buying um campus and wipes he needs to you know men are very simple he needs to be able to just go to one store and go buy what he need so you know i'm trying to see about that like which is going to be the best you know i gotta think about stuff like us buying baby detergent now give me the best price on that so those are the things that i gotta think about but i'm about to go in here into cvs and get my prenatals so let go so y'all done made it to cvs and you see they got everything y'all gonna get one free oh there we go they got the prenatals on sale but i want to get one free so now i get two for one basically that's why i be coming to cvs instead of target because they got them for if i want to get one free here so i get me two of these all right so i got these yeah these are the ones i like to get strawberry all right and that's about it that's what i came to get for these two right here. So let me go make it to my next though. Made it inside Publix. I got my list of things that I don't. Yeah, I got my list of everything that I need. So, cinnamon meals. Look at your cinnamon toast. Okay. Okay. So, let me get what I need to get out of here. And then I'll come back for you guys. So I'm going to get some cereal. And I was, I, I haven't been in a breakfast mood. But this the other morning I woke up craving French toast. So I got some syrup and I'm going to buy me some French toast. Uh oh, sorry. So yeah, I got my fruit so far. So far. I got my chicken. I got my fruits. And I want to eat. And that's pretty much it. All right, so let me see what we get in. I'll call y'all back. Okay, so y'all, I'm finished at Publix. And when I tell y'all, I'm so freaking tired. Like, I am exhausted from getting that stuff out of Publix. But it's literally, like, no food in the house. And, like, this morning, I woke up, I was hungry, and I ate out. And when I ate out that was like is that the police okay people be stealing okay so when i ate out that was like what nine nine dollars 22 cent but if i would have had food like i just bought i got eggs in the house and i just bought waffles and syrup for six dollars you know what i'm saying i eat at my house like don't get me wrong some stuff be like hella expensive to the point it's like you might as well buy food but i, I was in a rush anyways this morning and then I bought some chickens. I bought like 30. I spent $34 on um, normal groceries and then fruits. All of that stuff. I didn't have to pay for that. So. But yeah. So. And then the lady. I'm oh, tired. The lady. She was acting a little funky at. um At the thing. Something didn't ring up right. And I'm like. Oh what didn't ring up right. Oh I don't know. I don't know. But it, like it was like her tone and her approach. And I said, well, we're going to find out. I said, this is what you can do. You void this one right here for me, right? I'm going to pay for this. And then we're going to figure out what didn't scan right because all of this should be free. Okay? And I think, like, sometimes when you go to the grocery store and, like, you get what I'm saying? If you're using a coupon or if you're getting something half off or using something for using food stamps, they be trying to, like... I don't know like play you and I know for me especially like when I'm couponing and I'm being cheap because I'm looking all polished you know what I'm saying I got my accessories they looking at my watch they you know trying to figure out they looking at my bag they looking at my shoes and they like hmm she oh she you get what I'm saying she one of them or like you know whatever but they at work and they probably saying shoot I ain't I don't get this and I don't do like baby listen relax yourself so, but I be patient with them. I be being nice, but like, don't play with me. So, yeah. I'm going to show everything I got when I get home. Because I spent like, I spent $34. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh. I was supposed to make one stop. One more stop to return something for Amazon. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm going to be so honest with y'all. I'm not stopping. I'm 
I'm done. When I say tired, tired is an understatement. But I did the most important things, which was to go get my prenatals. Really, me stopping to get this baby stuff. That that stop in the store, that 20 minutes I spent in there, that wasn't really necessary. Kind of threw me off my schedule. But that's okay. I'm scheduled to go to work at 4.15. It's now 1 o'clock. And I only work from 4 to 10 tonight. So, that's cool. Give me a little shit coins. Um, so... And out of that four to ten, I really only work in like five hours or whatever. But however, it's one o'clock right now, so that still give me time to get home, unload this stuff, put something on my stomach, and take me a little at least a two hour nap. I'm gonna get up like three thirty, get up three thirty, take a shower, freshen up, or whatever, all that stuff. I wanna go on a train so bad. I wanna go to the train to West Palm Beach. I need to see how far Sawgrass is. Is it a train that could take me to Sawgrass? I want to go to the outlets and go shopping for my baby. I want to get him a bunch of Nike stuff. Go to the Nike outlet. Get him a bunch of Nike and stuff. This baby is so spoiled already. Like, y'all, my baby got, like, at least, I want to say maybe, like, like almost two months worth of clothes already. He's so spoiled already. I can just imagine. Okay, my camera going dead. Bye, y'all. Getting back home. So, the CVS stuff that we got. I got the buy one, get one free prenatal vitamins. It was like $15. And then I just got some toothpaste. And then they're going to do a sale with mouthwash and stuff. So, I'll be able to get that. So, we got that there. Then, we just did the old handy dandy chicken from Publix. Because I'm not cooking tonight. We did chicken wings, plain. I would have got hot and spicy, but my mom don't like that. So then we did our fruits. And we got watermelon, pineapple. Okay, and then we got uh, egg waffles, syrup. And then I got these. I was craving these. So I got these, which is so good. Oh, and my juice. Juice. And my ice cream. So, yeah. I'm about to put this up. And I'll talk to y'all later. Good morning. We are headed out to run some errands. We got a doctor's appointment today. This is what it's giving. It's giving. Okay, so y'all. Who texts me? okay so y'all we got the pillow i finally got my mommy pillow mom cozy pregnancy pillow so let's unbox it okay y'all it's kind of dark over here let me see okay i don't know but so this is how it comes like this we cut it open I don't want to cut it. I'm damaging. in this bag. Okay, it looks like it's coming out. Okay, 
so I'm confused. Is it not supposed to already be fluffy when it come out of the bag? Okay. I don't know. It's real wrinkled. So this is it. But it got another piece in it. Okay, there's another piece to it. Okay, I'm confused, y'all. But it's a bit late. And I don't think I'm in a situation now where I want to try to figure it out. I think I'm going to leave it as is. And we'll sort it out from there. So, you can lay like your body. You can lay on it like this. I don't know. We're going to see. But I swear it's supposed to be more fluffier. But so far, this is how big it is. He's about as tall as me. Alright, I'm going to test it out. <laughs> Y'all, happy, what's today, Friday? So me and baby boy are headed out. This is my OOTD. This outfit is linked in my Amazon storefront. Um, and we are going to the grocery store to get something to cook. It's just going to chill. It's not really cold outside, but I just wanted to wear this because I thought it was so cute. And I just love this. So let's head out to Publix and to the post office. Uh, sometimes you just gotta push yourself out the house. I'm still tired, but we uh we almost made it to the post office. But Lord, just give me. I'm trying not to say I'm tired, but <sighs> my baby tired too. He's tired. So, yeah, we're going to the post office now. Back, we was just here yesterday. I should have just waited till today to get it, but I got on one of the outfits that I got from the post office yesterday, anyways. Okay, so yeah, let's see. I might have another package. I'm ex only expecting one package, but I don't know. There might be some other stuff in here. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Salami, so I got some oil, grits, um, and then I might get these biscuits just because I might be in the mood for biscuits in this good ghetto public streets. So that's good. So I'm just talking to my mom right quick, um, and then I'll talk to y'all once I get in the car. Oh, this light is good. Okay, public light. Hey, y'all, good morning. Happy Sunday. Um, I'm getting ready to go to the grocery store to get some croissants because I woke up craving a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. And I'm just going to make it myself because if I buy it from Dunkin' or anywhere else, it's going to be there in the $10. So I might as well add an extra five and I can eat uh, bacon, egg, and cheese croissants all week. So, yeah, um, I'm not going to probably take my camera because I just want to rush and come right back. So, yeah, I'll talk to y'all once I get back while I'm making a breakfast. Okay, so y'all, let me show y'all what I bought. And it was $14 and like 97 cents. So I got two, four large croissants. It was $4.49. I got some bacon. It was actually $4. It was rich. I saw it was for $5.99, but it was when they scanned it down, it was $4. Then I got some off brand apple juice, some store brand apple juice. You know what I'm off brand. As I get older, I'm realizing all this stuff tastes the same. It's just in our mind that we think, oh, juicy juice tastes better this than the third. No. And then I was going to stop and get donuts, but. I decided to get a six pack for $2.79. That way I can have a donut all day. So yeah, I'm about to cook and yeah, we hungry. So I'm gonna get into it, okay? Got the bacon, yeah, bacon cooking. Scrabble eggs, cheese. We got our croissants. So this is my OOTD. I just have on this dress from Shop Cider. I got this little cami on for pre-mark. It's my outfit that I'm wearing to church. My just normal day-to-day -day accessories. And then my little Gucci loafers. And then the scent of the day I am wearing. Okay, and then y'all, the scent of the day is my Burberry Her. So yeah, we're headed to church and I'll see y'all later. What did he have on a helmet? Huh? When he had three rocks and a sling, huh? it simply signifies huh, that David understood his assignment.
assignment. And David said that I'm going to use what God gave me. See, the problem with this generation, you want to... So me and my mother are getting breakfast from Chick-fil-A. I don't look my best this morning. But... <laughs> she don't want to be on. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much. Yeah, we had Chick-fil-A this morning. Okay, let me see. Is it the light? Okay, there we go. How you work it first? And it takes one of them off. Oh, okay. oh, okay. So it's for a sandwich. Yes. Okay, cool beans, a breakfast sandwich. And then we'll do the number one, the meal. Do you want to do the meal? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then the sandwich. Right. Sandwich like the number one as well, right? Yeah. Chicken biscuit. Is that what you want or you want nuggets? Or you want the chicken minis, Mom? I want the sandwich. Okay, that's what she was saying. Yeah. You want a drink? Two mom, what's the drink, baby? You get two shoes? No, mom, what's the drink, sweetie? Um, Sprite. <laughs> so Light ice. Two sandwiches in total, right? So, y'all, me and Styles are up early this morning running errands. I got my two cups of ice from Chick fil A, one to eat and one to drink. So good. So, yeah, that's what we're doing, waiting on our food. There we go. Let me sit y'all up right here. Uh-huh. <laughs> can I um can I get a hit of this sprite? I need to stop at my post office right here too to get my package. Pass me the straw. Let me just get a hit of this. Thank you, sweetie. I know she put ice in my spider piece and it's sparkling with ice. I like ice in my drink. Would you like me to change it? Drink something. Huh? This is good. You could tell they changed their filters. So we came to Publix to get some stuff. And y'all, tell me if these not the best Eggo waffles. Now, when I was a little, we used to eat these, right? But when I tell you this, that is so sweet now. You see it say sweet, no syrup needed. When I tell y'all it's literally like no syrup needed, it's so sweet, you do not need no syrup for that. It don't make no sense how sweet that is. But I just got a few mix and nacks of things that I needed. But when I tell y'all, like it's literally not necessary, no. So we typically do these or the chocolate chip ones or the plain ones. You can do plain too. So yeah. So we got the little bit of things that we needed. Oh, are they open? Yeah, I can go to this thing. You're open. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, let me get my little. Ah, oh, shoot! I need to go to customer service. Hey y'all, good morning. So we just came back from Publix and when I tell y'all, ladies, y'all have to be so careful. So I'm in Publix and um, I was waiting in the lines, waiting in the customer service line and this guy asked me for some money. And so I was just like, okay, I was a little taken aback because I was on the phone with my mom and I was like, okay, so I had a couple dollars on me. I gave it to him. So as I'm finishing what I'm doing at customer service, I see him coming back up like from the cashier but he ain't had no bag in his hand i'm like okay but i'm trying not to judge nobody whatever whatever so then as so I'm, i wait because i'm like i'm not gonna get on the elevator with him like i don't know him like i don't know you know i don't know it's you just don't know so i see another lady in like similar clothes like him it's like a group of ladies and then another guy they all got dreads and they hair and she's like she's talking to somebody and she's like yeah she's just standing there and I'm like, did I just hear what I hear? And then she said it again. She's like, something, something. She goes, she just standing there. So I have to call my mom. So I stopped. I called my mom and come upstairs, baby. And, you know, my mom came upstairs, got me, da 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 But I was just real uneasy. And, like, I don't know. I could have probably heard her wrong. I could have whatever. But it was just a real uneasy situation for me. And I was just like, yeah. 
I gotta watch my surroundings. So y'all be careful, especially with the holidays coming up. People being desperate again. They know the holidays is always coming around. They know Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, all this big holiday stuff. They know it's coming around again, and they still don't care. They want to do what they want to do during the year, and they want to take your stuff. So y'all just be careful. But I don't know. We could do. I'm just really even exhausted from this whole situation. So yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm gonna get some rest, and we'll pick back up later.